Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Uh, today is Sunday and I just got back from the grocery store so I thought I would show you my grocery haul. I spent $80 at Hy-Vee today and then I thought I would also do a little bit of um, a vlog today because I'm gonna make some fish for dinner that I was gonna make the other night when I was organizing the pantry but I didn't end up having time. And then I think I'm gonna make a key lime pie also, because that sounds really good. And I got some limes at the grocery store. So I guess this will be kind of like a grocery haul slash cook with me slash vlog. So come along with me. Okay, so, yep, the Chiefs are playing. <laughs> They're trying to make a comeback. That was a rough start to the game. I got 18 eggs because we were almost out and I think I might make some hard boiled eggs uh, this week because Connor asks me for those every so often. I got some bananas, which are very, very green. Some uh, slicing tomatoes, mostly for sandwiches and salads. And then I also got six limes for my key lime pie. I used the Pioneer Woman's recipe. I can link it down below. Uh, from the olive bar, I just got like, this looks like seven Kalamata olives. I do have some, Kira, we let Murphy in. I do have some feta cheese in the fridge that I can make a Greek salad with. So that was kind of my plan with those. I got some iceberg lettuce for sandwiches and if we have tacos this week. I got a couple different yogurts, uh, key lime yogurt for Kira, an orange cream yogurt for Connor, and then whoever wants these can have them. I really like them. They're the Oikos whole milk yogurt. This one is strawberries and cream, and this one is lemon meringue. Uh, I was craving like chips and dip, so I got some French onion dip and some wavy lays over there. One cucumber, an avocado, and then I got the kids some cinnamon applesauce cups. They like to have those um, in their lunches sometimes. Uh, I grabbed some half and half for coffee, some Triscuits for, uh, I like to have these with cottage cheese as a snack. It's really, really good. Uh, two boxes of just the Hy-Vee brand mac and cheese just to have in the pantry. And then I picked up some of my favorite cottage cheese, the AE Dairy Old Fashioned 4%. Uh, I got the kids a variety pack of granola bars, so um, they've been liking to have these for a snack before swim. And then Connor wanted some different new cereal, so he usually likes Cocoa Krispies. And... Oh my God. <laughs> All right, where was I? Cereal. Connor wanted some cereal, so I got him some of these Hy-Vee brand uh, Cocoa Puffs. And then I, for lunch, or, well, whatever, deli meat this week, I got some Deluso smoked turkey breast. Um, this is kind of pricey, but it's honestly the best deli meat um, in terms of quality, I think. And then I also got some bologna. I haven't bought that for a while, and it sounded good. Uh, I got some sharp cheddar cheese sticks to keep in the fridge. Kira really likes those to have in her lunches and for snacks. Uh, I grabbed some hot dogs. We're probably... I, I didn't say this before, but I don't really have a meal plan for this week. We have a lot of stuff going on um, after school and work, and so I kind of just tried to pick up things that we needed for lunches, and then I'll use, you know, pull from my pantry and freezer for um, dinners. Uh, so I got hot dogs, I got one um, eight ounce block of pepper jack cheese, and then some flour tortillas. These are actually on sale for 99 cents, so that's pretty good. And then I got a loaf of whole wheat bread, some multi-grain waffles for the kids for breakfast. Also a uh, cheese pizza just to keep on hand in case we need a quick dinner. Uh, the key lime pie recipe calls for sweet and condensed milk, so I grabbed one of those. Two cans of SpaghettiOs for the kids. Some orange juice, we were out of that. Uh, and then we picked up um, a small refrigerator for downstairs in our basement when we do the wet bar down there, and so Adam just took it out of the packaging today and we wanted to get some uh, baking soda in there to absorb the plasticky smell. Uh, okay, so they had, I wasn't planning on getting this, but I was just gonna pick up one can, but they actually had the Progresso 5 for $5. Uh, so a dollar can, which is a pretty good sale on those. So I went ahead and picked up five. Um, Adam likes to take these for lunch and so do I sometimes. So I got a chicken sausage gumbo, a tomato basil, a creamy mushroom, uh, beef pot roast with vegetables, and then a cheese tortellini. I, I figure Kira might like to try this. Um, she really likes cheese tortellini. Um, I don't know if I said hot dog buns or not. 
but yes that is everything I got today for uh, just $80 and some change I'm gonna get this put away and then right now I'm just making some little smokies with uh, barbecue and grape jelly uh, for Adam while he watches football. Kira's gonna eat some too and my stove is so messy I need to clean that today probably for sure. I am going to make some chicken salad I had a chicken breast that we had cooked earlier in the week in the refrigerator um, And I've just been craving chicken salad so in this bowl I just have a little bit of mayo sour cream a little bit of brown sugar lemon juice I know the brown sugar sounds weird, but it helps balance out the lemon juice and then um, dill parsley flakes, salt and pepper. So I'll whisk this up and then I'm going to add some chicken and some sliced grapes. I need to um, wash those up and then I'm also going to add some pecans to it and then I'll taste it and if it tastes good then I won't add anything. I'll just pack it in a container for lunch tomorrow otherwise I'll adjust it as needed. That was good. I didn't have to add anything to it. I think I maybe made a little bit too much dressing for the amount of chicken I had but that's fine. It'll The chicken will absorb some of the um, dressing anyway as it sits in the refrigerator so I think what I'm gonna do now is get started on the key lime pie because that has to sit in the refrigerator um, and firm up so the regular recipe calls for crushed up graham crackers but I have these left over from my Christmas baking so I'm just gonna use these to make uh, a crust for it all right, so for the crust in this bowl, I have a third of a cup of melted butter. I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of sugar and one and a quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs. And then, or I just like to stir it up with a fork so it doesn't like clump up. And then you just have to press it in the um, pie plate and to do that you can use the bottom of your measuring cup to press it in there did you pack the flashlight the blanket and the man it's a real adventure the trail you're looking at I'm glad you came for a while I thought you might be bailing is that the same yellow shirt? Okay, and then, oh, there goes my oven. So then you just bake this in a 350 degree oven for five minutes. For the filling for the key lime pie, uh, it's very simple. All you need is one tablespoon of lime zest. I use my microplane grater. If you don't have one of these, they are awesome. I'll link mine down below. You can get them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I have two egg yolks, some lime juice, that I squeezed fresh and then one can of sweetened condensed milk. So I'm just going to use the hand mixer so I'm going to grab that out, uh, put everything into the bowl and then you just have to mix it up until everything is incorporated and it's thick and smooth. Used to wear, but a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? for you I was crappy but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near we've got a fire in the tent it's 5 30 a.m. let's be the kids who left get in trouble again let's start got nothing on all right so here's the pie and then I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator how long does this does the recipe say um, oh, one hour or more if possible, but yeah, it's only four o'clock now, so we'll be fine. I'm gonna go put it in the garage refrigerator because it's colder out there. So it's five o'clock, I'm gonna get dinner started. Uh, for a side tonight with our fish, I am making this cauliflower. Go Chiefs, go. go Chiefs, go. 48-31? 51-31. Oh my God. Anywho, I'm making this cauliflower tot casserole from Trader Joe's. Let me know if you've tried it before. It looks good. It's in the freezer section. So this bakes for like an hour. And it basically says to just put it on a tray, cover it with foil, and bake it in a three, no, 400 degree oven. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in since it takes a while. So I've got my tilapia here. And I basically just cut each filet in half so that I have like eight kind of like fish fingers or tenders I guess you would say. I made it like this before and the kids really liked it. So what I've done is season this with salt and then this uh, fresh bay 
which is comparable to Old Bay seasoning, but it's from Fresh Jacks. If you guys haven't tried their spices, you should. I love everything that they have, and I actually like this a lot better than Old Bay. Um, this particular one is salt-free, and I like that because then I can use my own salt and sort of control the amount um, that I use. And you can see also that it has like some red pepper flakes in it, which is nice too. But if you have watched my videos before, you've heard me talk about Fresh Jacks, but I always have a link in my description box for a discount if you guys want to try them. Um, I know that a lot of you guys ordered some of their stuff when I did my Christmas gifts video, which was awesome. So I'm glad that you <laughs> got some of those for family members. We also got some for Adam's dad as well. But anyway, I've just seasoned these and I'm just going to let them sit here for a little bit and, um, let the let, let the seasoning season the fish what am i trying to say and then i'm going to bread these i'll show you this in um flour egg uh breadcrumbs probably panko breadcrumbs and then just shallow fry them on the stove and then we'll have the cauliflower with that i'll probably make some green beans and then i might make some mac and cheese for the kids um just because like i mean they like steamed cauliflower connor would probably eat this kira not so much all right, so I steamed up some green beans. Those have butter on them. They're just getting warm, or not getting warm, the butter's melting. Um, so here's my fish. So every time I do something like this, like with breading, I always set it up right here next to the stove. So I'm gonna take the fish and dip it in flour, egg, and panko. And then I have some uh, canola oil heating up right here, just like a very shallow fry. And then I'm also making the kids some uh, good old craft mac and cheese to go with their fish. All right, so I turned the fish over, and basically you just want to fry it until it comes out golden brown on both sides, and then while it's still hot, I have a paper towel and plate there. Just sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. Um, you don't want to season. See, since I already seasoned the fish, I did not season any of the breading ingredients. Um, but I am going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on it when it comes out. Alright, so here is what dinner turned out like. This is Adam's plate. Here is the fish with some tartar sauce, green beans, and the cauliflower tots, which I tasted, and it is delicious. Alright, so here is how the key lime pie turned out. If I had to do it over, I would not have done it in this deep dish uh, pie dish. So I should have done it in my regular one because the pie would have been thicker. Anyway, here has been, it was good. I mean, basically you serve this with some uh, whipped cream and you're golden. So here has been meal prepping. You want to show us what you meal prepped? Yeah. Okay, talk, talk loudly. Okay, so if we have the container, but it's just regular whipped uh, Greek, yogurt, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. And then the, um... I th they're called like power-ups and these are like apple cinnamon yeah so basically you made some yogurt parfaits right yeah, yeah. And what else did you make and this is for breakfast so and then I, we made water with lemons and strawberries in it and if we had blueberries in it we would probably put it in yeah. it yeah currently we don't so it's just like infused water yeah. I made this and you made nothing you're eating key lime pie how is it good good yeah, so these yogurt containers or these parfait containers I actually, like forever. yeah, I, I I don't really have a link for them or anything because I got them at Walmart so long ago, um, but they're pretty they're pretty handy. And then yeah, she wanted to make some infused water also. What do you put in there? Probably what? For what? That's for you. Oh okay, that's frozen strawberry and banana. Okay. Daddy's got the hiccups. Let's see your sweatshirt. Oh. All right, so now that dinner's over, I went ahead and got the dishwasher loaded. There's still some dishes over there, but I'm just gonna let them soak. And I'm cleaning my stove top because, as I said before, it's very dirty. But I wanted to wait until after I cooked supper since I was gonna be frying fish. So I took the whole thing apart. I have the grates over there. I don't know if I'm gonna put those in the dishwasher or not. They're not super dirty. But I did take apart the burner elements and put those in the top rack of the dishwasher, which is what I normally do to get them nice and clean. And then I've sprayed this Wyman Oven and Grill Cleaner on there, which works really well for the stovetop. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like I have a 
frog in my throat. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And then I use this tool, which is like a razor blade scraper. And I ordered this on Amazon. I can link it down below. Also, it's very inexpensive. But this works really well to scrape the gunk off of the stove top once you, you know, let the cleaner sit on it. So I'm going to do that, wipe it up nice and clean, and I'll show you the, uh, the end result. That's what it looks like all clean. I feel like I'm losing my voice. That's good. Uh, and then I also cleaned the top with the Wyman stainless steel cleaner. So as soon as the dishwasher is done, then I can put everything back together. All right, so it's about quarter to nine. The last thing that I am doing tonight is getting some lunches ready for tomorrow. So um, I did pull up the menu at school and Kira wants me to pack her lunch, but Connor wants to eat lunch at school because they're having hot dogs or <laughs> something that he wants. So um, I have this stainless steel bento box that I got on Amazon. We've really liked having it and Kira enjoys taking it in her lunch. So in here I just have a wrap. This is one of the Mission spinach tortillas and I just wrapped it up with some turkey, some turkey pepperoni and some cheddar cheese. And then I have a cutie in here that I peeled for her. I just peel it for them when I pack it in their lunch because they don't have that much time to eat. And so I don't want them to have to waste time doing that. Um, and then to kind of keep this all together in here, I'm just adding a oatmeal raisin granola bar on the top. And then over here I have some Pringles for her and some green grapes. And then I also made a sandwich for Adam. He's going to take a sandwich and some soup tomorrow. So this is just a turkey and cheese sandwich on wheat bread. And then whenever I get um, Home Chef, I always save these little packets of mayo and mustard. And I use the regular ones that I have in the refrigerator because that way if I have these little packets, then I can send these with him with his sandwich and he can put them on before he eats it and the bread doesn't get soggy. And this container is... I forget what, oh, it's a preserve um, brand sandwich container. So you can get these on Amazon also, and I'll link it down below. They're the perfect size for sandwiches. All right, so that is going to be it for today's video. I'm a little bit bummed because the Seahawks just lost, and uh, I have family that lives in Seattle, and they're big Seahawks fans, so that's too bad, but all of you that are Packers fans are super excited right now, I'm sure. But anyway, thank you for watching this video today. I know it was a little bit random with the haul and cook with me and everything, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be posting 10 days of organization videos this month, not necessarily in consecutive order, but I am posting 10 and I've already posted two of those. So I'll leave the link to the playlist down below if you want to check those out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Useless words. What you said, what I said that might have made it worse. We're here again at the same spot.